Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure. Uh, on the way here tonight, I saw snow flurries, and, and, and I was trying to pretend that winter was over. So I think it uh, my name is Bob Gratz. I'm the director of alumni engagement here at Moravian College, and uh, thank you for being here tonight. And thank you to Paul Poker and the archives for and archivists for allowing us to, to have this facility tonight. And this uh, event is known as Return and Learn. Return and Learn is this is our inaugural Return and Learn event. It's to provide alumni and friends of the college an opportunity to connect with Moravian College and uh, various uh, educational uh, presentations to learn more about our college and learn more about our community and learn more about ourselves. So uh, one thing I want to, to share with you as an advertisement uh, online and actually in hard copy, we did provide you all with a survey. If you're interested in any topic area, please let us know. We do have survey uh, information here tonight. If you, you did not fill that out and like to do that tonight, please let us know what topic areas you would like to uh, have presented. We've had such requests such as uh, investment planning, retirement planning, uh, wine and cheese, what type of chocolate to pair with wine. Uh, I know some of you wouldn't be interested in that, uh, but uh, uh, please uh, let us know what you might be interested in and we will try to provide those opportunities for you. Uh, again, thank you for being here. I'd like to introduce my assistant, Amanda Warner, who uh, has the task of putting up with me. And those of y'all that know me know that Amanda is going straight up. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, but now, please, Paul Porter, archivist for Moravian. Um, uh, and, and we really appreciate Paul. And I will tell you, I, I've seen Paul on numerous occasions. And I think it was a presentation you did regarding uh, at Love Feast, at Founders Day. Oh, here. that's right. Yes, that's a right. phenomenal that's presentation. Right. And then uh, again, I had the opportunity when Brielle did her presentation regarding this this exhibit, and uh, uh, I was captured. And we're so happy and thank you for inviting us here and allowing this. Uh, Paul, please. Yes. Well, I'm so glad that you are all here. I'm the archivist uh, for the Moravian Church here at the Moravian Church Archives. And we have a special relationship with the college. We are on the campus of Moravian College, but we're not the college archives. We are the archives for the Moravian Church. But because we're on the campus, there are a lot of opportunities to work together on various things. And um, Brielle is one of the uh, great examples of the good uh, uh, relationship we have with Moravian College. So I'm very glad that you're here tonight, and this will be an opportunity for you to see the exhibit that Brielle put together, but also an opportunity for you to learn a little bit about the Moravian Archives. Uh, we will offer go uh, tours of the vault. Tom McCullough, the assistant archivist, will uh, offer you some tours, and uh, because it's, there's not much space for people to circulate there, um, we can take up to 10 people in there at, at uh, one time. So. Um, Make sure that you get in there and, and, and see how we store records. Um, our oldest book is from 1472. Uh, that's the oldest item that we have in our collection, many, many years before Bethlehem was founded, uh, when Bethlehem was founded in 1741. That was already an old book. And uh, really, our collection uh, documents the history of the Moravian Church, with the beginnings of the Moravians here in Bethlehem, and then all the other places in North America where Moravians went and, and worked. And we also have records for other Morav uh, Moravian churches in other countries like uh, the, the Virgin Islands, other islands in the Caribbean. We have records for the Moravian church in Labrador, Nicaragua, and Honduras. And so we have a, a very um, multifaceted collection. Uh, a lot of paintings, you see here a few examples. And um, we have a large music collection. We also have a large library. We collect everything uh, relating to the Moravian Church. And uh, like I said, we have a special relationship with the college because we get requests for interns to come here and do internships and, and all kinds of work. And last year, in, in January, Brielle started here. And uh, Brielle came here and said she would like to do an exhibit. And that was her goal, to learn on how to do an exhibit. 
And Tom and I, we spoke with Brielle and we said, well, Brielle, um, that's okay, but you figure it out. And uh, we said, we're not going to tell you what the exhibit is to be about. And we're not going to tell you how to plan this and how to do this. It's all yours. And um, we were so pleasantly surprised with the outcome and with working with Brielle and how organized Brielle is. And there's a beautiful exhibit um, that, uh, that uh, talks about Moravian connections and what that exactly is, Brielle will, will explain to you. And uh, we're very pleased with uh, this exhibit. Um, there have been articles in the newspaper about this uh, exhibit and a lot of people have seen it. And now you're here and you will uh, also experience that. And I think it's time to now turn it over to Brielle. junior senior I'm graduating this fall so I'm technically a junior but I'm graduating early so I call myself a junior senior at the moment I'm from New Jersey and like Tom, uh, Paul said this is my internship I started last January I'm a history major but also a museum studies minor and hoping to finish my concentration in public history in the fall so my minor needed an internship as well and I took classes at Lehigh for that and transferred it over so that's why um, Lehigh and the Marine Archives have a connection. So I was here starting in January, and as they said, it was basically do an exhibit. Okay, <coughs> what to do for that? Um, first, I started with my project before that was cataloging glass slides from Labrador, Canada. As we said, there's a mission there. So I took the slides, put them in on my catalog, titled them, described them, and that was kind of my introduction to how archives work and cataloging. Then it was go through the database and find things that you want to do for an exhibit. And a lot of it, originally the idea was cool things that the vault has. Uh, Zinzinzor's Bible, a sword, just cool interesting things that don't always see the light of day. So it also <coughs> was supposed to tie into kind of, not necessarily American history, but it didn't have to focus specifically on Bethlehem or Moravian history. So my first thing I plugged in was George Washington, see what comes up. Uh, letters did come up, one of them is in there. And then I kind of went through just things I knew about American history, Google searches, big events in American history, saw what come up, made a giant list of things that could be potentially useful, could not be. I spent then a week in the vaults trying to locate the items, see if they were what I thought they were, see if I found things that, not everything is cataloged there. As you'll see, if you take a vault tour, there are a lot of objects in the vault, and not everything is on the database. So that was a useful week to see what other objects were in there kind of narrowed it down, and then I had to decide how do I want to organize it. There are a lot of things presidential related. Did I want to make it that? Did I want to make it topically related? There was a lot of stuff with Native Americans, with the missions. Did I want to do that? Did I do, want to do it chronologically? How, how is it going to work out? In the end, we chose chronologically. I had a lot of help. I asked a lot of questions, so thank you for putting up with them. I had a lot of help, so it wasn't just me. And we decided to order it chronologically, except this one goes back in time. So you'll start with the most recent, and you'll work your way to, I guess, the oldest, which I think is 1740s-ish. We started with kind of around the time of the founding of Bethlehem. And the point is it's titled Moravian Connections, and it connects Bethlehem history, Moravian history, to general American history that people might not know much about. I didn't know much about Moravian history coming into this internship. So it's helpful for things, like I said, everyone knows the name George Washington. You tie things like that back to what is his connection to Bethlehem? What is his connection to the Moravians? How do you learn from that? And that's kind of how the exhibit is supposed to, everything is supposed to tie back to here and the Moravians. So with that being said, if you'd like to go see the exhibit, I will show you around. Let's watch it. Paul, do we want to split any in reference to uh, Yes, I think it's good because it's a fairly large group, so some of you might want to take the vault tour first and then uh, take the tour of the exhibit, and Tom will take people in the vault, so. And Brielle's not going to run away, so if you go to the vault first, there. you'll be able to get Brielle after all. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll meet with anyone over here that wants to take a look at the vault. And there are also refreshments in our in our gallery, so if you cannot go into the vault and not under the exhibition, if there's something else you can drink into,
I told uh, Amanda Sterling oh, yes. almost yes. started. Yeah, I'm sure you know, start. Um, it's about an hour, and people, it's really interesting. About the history of the Marine Star. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, like, October, November. Yeah. Yeah. Here I am. I think I'll read it.